Hi guys, it's Starla here again, continuing my mini series on aromatherapy, the 10 essential oils you need for your home. Today we're going to start uh, discuss eucalyptus, a little history and its properties and what it's good for. So let's get to it. Okay, like I said, today we're going to talk about eucalyptus uh, essential oil and the properties and histories for your house. Now, I'm going to do some reading here because, like I said, uh, some of these aromatherapies have a lot of information and it's too hard, too many items to put on my whiteboard so I can read from that. So I'm going to have to read off of my notes. There are four different flavors to eucalyptus and all of them are pretty much the same as far as properties and the history of them. The four kinds we have are eucalyptus globulus. It's uh, considered the Tasmanian blue gum. That's why I got my blue hair on. There's lemon peppermint, and radia. Maybe I'm hopefully saying that right. Now, radia is the one that's mostly used in aromatherapy. And I wanted to let you know also, I purchased my new book that I've been talking about, The Complete Book of Essential Oils and Aromatherapy by Valerie Ann Woodworth. Now, you can see... It's a bigger book than my last book. She has updated a lot and added a lot more recipes, which are good because you could just go in here and look up uh, what you need and make that little, I call them potions, they call them recipes. And you know you're safe because she is a aromatherapist. So, I'll put the link for this down below. I got it uh, at Barnes & Noble. Eucalyptus is a tree that grows, and depending on the variety, they could grow from 60 feet to 300 feet. And they are different in the textures of their bark. Some are blue uh, bark, which is, you know, the blue hair again. Some are white, some are gray, some are kind of copper. The leaves are pretty much similar, slender leaves, and they pretty much all have flowers on them. Now the eucalyptus tree is a, a very good wood to build floors or bridges. They've used them in mines in Africa because they, they grow really fast and they're, they're a strong wood. A lot of the trees take a lot of water, so they're good for swampy areas to grow there and to keep that area, you know, cleaned up. And it also keep the area free of mosquitoes because it's a mosquito repellent, which is kind of nice to know. Now the properties are pretty much of all the same across the board. They're antibacteria, antifungal, anti-infectious, anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial, they're antiseptic, antiviral. They're uh, acting to relieve pain. They say it's good for post operations. You know, it'll calm you down before you go for an operation, but it also helps alleviate pain after you've had surgery. So that, that's kind of good to know. It reduces fever and it ends it. Oh, get tongue tied. Um, it's an expectorant, you know, it expels. So it's good for all that mucus. It'll break that mucus down in your, in your throat and your nose. It'll uh, make it not so sticky. Now, eucalyptus, you 
has to be diluted. You can't, in fact, lemon eucalyptus, you need to test it for your skin. Peppermint, you need to test it before you can put it on your skin. You know, test a small area to make sure you're not allergic to it. But it needs to be diluted. So to take it full strength, it would hurt you. But dilute it in some water for a mouthwash. Clean your breath. But I love eucalyptus because, you know, we've all heard about VIX. VIX has 1.2% of eucalyptus oil in VIX with a bunch of other stuff. So usually what I do when I'm sick with a cold, which hasn't been for years, I would take eucalyptus and get me a, a base oil. I would rub that on my chest, my throat, my neck, and I also put it up my nose because it will help you breathe. You could put it on your sinuses. It's great for sinus infections. You would just rub it across your brow, uh, all your sinus points. A good place is always your ears to put it around your ears. That always helps get that into your system there. But it's like one of the best things as far as if you have a stopped up nose, you have all this mucus in there. Another great way to do it is to put a couple drops in hot water, put a towel over your head and breathe, inhale that, and that that clears you up right away. You gotta keep your eyes closed because it will make you tear up. But it's a strong medicine for your nose and all that mucus stuff. So like I said, most of it is used for respiratory infections, bronchitis, fevers, mucus in the nose. But let me look right here real quick on my notes. Peppermint is good for cramps. So your menstrual cramps or aches and pains, leg cramps, pain along the course of a nerve. So inf inflammatory conditions, and it's also good for, I may be saying this wrong, so I might have to put it up here. Candida, candida, <laughs> which is a fungal infection caused by yeast. A lot of females have, get that. It's good for head lice or fatigue, exhaustion, acne, pimples. So not only is it good just for colds, it's also good for, you know, aches and pains and cramps. And I love that, that it's good for cramps. So it'll silence a cough. You know, you could rub it on your chest, your neck to silence a cough. Like I said, Vicks has it in, in, the, in its formula. It'll clear your chest with bronchitis. That's inhaling it. So it'll keep bugs away. It's a great mosquito repellent, and it's a rodent deterrent, because rodents don't like it either. It'll disaffect wounds, so if you have something that, and a lot of your, you know, ulcers on your lip, cold sores, this is great for that. Put a little bit of that on there, it'll, it'll take the pain away, and it'll clear it up faster. It helps you to breathe easy. Now they are studying it to see the effects of controlling blood sugar. Some medicine that they give you for diabetics have eucalyptus in it. So it's still being kind of uh, tested out there. So like I said, it's good for cold sores. It'll freshen your breath like in a mouthwash and it'll ease arthritis. And it also will calm you. So that's kind of good to know. You know, it's always good to have calming oils in your house. Now, your eucalyptus comes mostly from Australia. Now it's grown all over the place, but they say in Australia, you know, certain parts where, especially this blue, Tasmanian blue gum is grown. They say in the morning, the 
air is just filled with this bluish mist. And can you imagine, you get up in the morning and this is on your land and you can smell it. And I mean, that must be all your sinuses, everything would just open up as soon as you woke up. You wouldn't have any problems, you know. Let's get a little history on this. So it was in introduced from Australia to the rest of the world during the expeditions of Captain Cook in 1770. And it was collected by Sir Joseph Banks at the time. And Captain Cook, he had his hand in a lot of uh, ventures and a lot of finds he brought to the, to the world on his little quest going around. It was first recorded in Tasmanian in 1792, and it was first distilled in the 1850s. It was formally described in 1800 by a French botanist. I'll put his information up here. They're mostly native to, like I said, Tasmanian, New South Wales, it has, you know, other people are growing it, like China, India, Madagascar, Brazil, India, did I say, and Paragara, Paragara, <laughs> that's another one I couldn't say. But you've got the globalis, you got lemon, you got peppermint, and you got the radia. I don't know if I say that one right, but radia is the one that is usually used in aromatherapy, and it's the one that Valerie covers in her book, even though the rest could be used. So yeah, it's it's uh, it covers a, quite a bit of your this area here, your chest, your head, all around here. I mean, it's it's great for that. And then don't forget, it's great for menstrual pain. I know a lot of us ladies are older. We've got the arthritis pain, but, you know, put a little bit in a lotion and rub on here or a carrier, rub on your arthritis, and it'll take care of it. So, so yeah, they're good for wounds, if I didn't mention that, or skin infections, um, fungal skin infections. You know, those kind of get around your toes, those fungal affections. So we know that's good for that. You know, it's good for fevers. And the natives of Australia, they used it a lot for fevers. And they would waft the, you know, smoke to the person. You know how they have like a little feather and they blow the smoke out to you. And that's what you do. You inhale the smoke or, you know, if you... Steam is a great way to do eucalyptus. But like I said, I always put it in a cream. I'll rub it on my chest, you know, my back, on my neck and stuff if I have colds and stuff. But knock on wood, I'm working with aromatherapy and having it in my house, I noticed that I don't get sick that often. I mean, I got aches and pains, don't get me wrong. But as far as getting really sick, I don't I don't really catch colds. You know, I should knock on wood, but and I don't know if it's because I I work with aromatherapy and it kind of gives me a little sense of protection. A lot of these are antibacteria, so if I'm going to smell it and have it up my nose, or make a lotion and put it on my neck. If I go somewhere, I'm going to have that kind of protection. So, so I think that pretty much covers eucalyptus. Eucalyptus. <laughs> One day I'll get to say this right. Okay, guys, this concludes our little history on eucalyptus. I hope you enjoyed this little video, and I know it's kind of late in doing it, but. You know, holidays are coming. So if you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. And if you really want to help me out, subscribe and hit that notification button so you'll know when I upload a new video. 
Also, I wanted to give props to my son, Eddie Otero, who has edited my videos and put in funny little bloopers at the end, and he's doing a fantastic job and helping me out on my video journey. So until next time, I'll see you later, alligator. Bye. This is my new little earrings I made with my skull and my fancy little bracelet. <laughs> Gotta put in my promo points here, or promo. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's about it. It looks like